Breaking news out of Minneapolis. Former Vice President Walter Mondale has died at the age of 93. A son of Minnesota, Mondale served in the U.S. Senate and beefed up the job as Vice President and also made history despite a losing bid for the White House. So help me God. Walter Mondale's political career was marked by early success. Elected to the U.S. Senate at 36. Well, we got sure, in, then. in 1976, Jimmy Carter tapped Mondale to be his running mate on the Democratic presidential ticket. And I'm proud and honored to be a part of this team. Carter lost re-election in 1980, but four years later, when Mondale ran for president, he made history picking New York Congresswoman Geraldine Ferraro as his running mate, the first woman on a major party presidential ticket. But Mondale faced a popular incumbent president. I am not going to exploit for political purposes my opponent's youth and inexperience. <laughs> Mondale suffered one of the biggest electoral defeats in U.S. history. George Bush of the state of Texas has received for Vice President of the United States 489 votes. Walter F. Mondale of the state of Minnesota has received 49 votes. And tonight, former President Jimmy Carter released a statement mourning his vice president, saying that Mr. Carter said that he was an invaluable partner and an able servant of the people of Minnesota, the United States, and the world.